This is the ultimate Mac Mini. So this right here is the Acasis workstation dock for the 2024 Mac Mini. And in my opinion, this is the best one out there. It makes the least amount of compromises and it starts off with the build quality. So this is a full aluminum build. This is solid metal and the paint job, the finishing, the overall weight and just the feel of this dock is really premium. It matches exactly with the Mac Mini and overall, top-notch quality. I wasn't expecting this sort of build quality, this sort of you know precise finishing from you know a cases at this price, but they have really surprised me with this one. And doing a quick little overview, let's start off with the ports. You've got three USB type A ports. These are gonna be USB 3.2 Gen 2, and it's gonna give you the full 10 gigabits per second speed. Above that is your power button, and here's a slot for your Mac Mini's front IO. Towards the right, you've got a screw. Open this up and it'll reveal the SSD slots. We'll get to them in a bit. Towards the back, you've got a USB-C port and this is gonna be a host port. So a cable from here is gonna go into a Thunderbolt on the Mac Mini and this is how the dock connects to the Mac Mini. You've got two DisplayPort 1.3s and you can connect external displays right here. And then there's a power delivery port. This dock does require external power if you want to get the full potential. So a 30 watt power adapter as well as a USB-C cable is provided in the box. And here is a slot for your Mac Mini's rear IO. Towards the other side, you've got a grill. This definitely helps with cooling. And since this is completely made out of metal, it's gonna be really good at dissipating heat. And here is the power button. So if you've ever had issues with the Mac Mini's power button placement, I think this solves it. Towards the top, you've got your two handles. And by now, if you haven't guessed it, this is a very similar design to the 2019 Cheese Grater Macro, but there's no Cheese Grater finish here. But this totally goes with the Apple ecosystem. So I'm glad Acasis went for this design. You also have their branding and SD card slot. So these are gonna be TF 4.0 and SD 4.0. So these do give you faster speeds, up to 312 megabytes per second. And yes, you can use uh, UHS2 cards with this one. Now, with the overview out of the way, you've also got four feet here, and these are removable if you wanted to. And they have got the rubber thingies on the bottom so the dock doesn't slip around. Now, to install your Mac Mini inside this dock, you're gonna have to remove this bottom uh, plate and then push the Mac Mini inside. For that, you do get two screwdrivers. You're gonna use this one uh, for the bottom screws, so just take them off, and I'll see you in a bit. To start off, you just pull this bottom plate out and again, really high quality. And right here, you can see there's a groove for your Mac Mini and these are gonna be the SSD slots. So you just line up the power button with the power button right here. Rear IO comes in here, front IO comes on the other side and you just wanna push in your Mac Mini, something like this. It's a very snug fit. And once the Mac Mini is inside, you just have to put back this bottom plate. So line it up something like this and you should be able to just put that back and tighten the screws. Once you're done putting back the bottom plate, uh, it's time to install the SSD. So we're gonna open up this screw, uh, which basically holds the door to the SSD slots. Take it off something like this. And again, solid metal, really high quality. That's the whole theme with this dock. Now I'm using two different SSDs here. I'm using one from Orico, a huge thanks to them for sending this one out. This is basically for a different project. Uh, it's their J1 SSD. It's a PCI Gen 3, one terabyte. And I'm also using Crucial P3 Plus. This is gonna be Gen 4, another terabyte. So total of two terabytes for my Mac Mini M4. Basically you just go in like this, put the SSD in there, and we'll put the thermal pads towards the end. Basically take one of those uh, rubber locking screws and just push it in this hole. Let's get the other SSD here. Same thing for the other SSD, line it up with the slot, get the rubber locking screw, push it back in. Now take one of these thermal pads and this is a very necessary step in my opinion because it helps to keep the SSDs cool. 
and you're just gonna line it up with the SSD right here. It doesn't have to be too perfect, but yeah, just try to do your best. Next will be for the second filler pad. Take off the adhesive from the back and line it up something like this with the second SSD and basically done. And yeah, once you remove the adhesive covers, you can just put back the slot. Let's get the screw and that's basically how you install and completely build out the M4 Mac Mini with the Acasus Dual SSD Workstation Dock. All right, now let's talk performance. In my case, I'm running both the SSDs as individual drives. So when I run the Blackmagic Disk Speed Test, my write speeds are around 1350 megabytes per second and my reads are around 1550. But there is an option where you can run these drives in a RAID configuration, RAID 0, RAID 1, or JBOD. And out of the three, the fastest is gonna be RAID 0. You're gonna get the full 40 gigabits per second speed out of the USB 4 enclosure and your read and write speeds are gonna be above 2500. So if speed is your priority, go with RAID 0. Moving on to the performance of the SD card reader, it's a UHS2 card slot and it's rated for up to 312 megabytes per second. To test this, I used my personal SanDisk Extreme Pro SD card and I was able to get the full speed, 200 write and 170 read. And let's say you have a faster SD card, they should be able to support it without any issues. Now getting to the USB ports on the front, you've got three of them. These are gonna be USB 3.2 Gen 2 type A ports and these should give you the full 10 gigabits per second speed if you use external power. Now, what I mean by that is, let's say you're just using receivers for your keyboard and mouse, you don't need external power. These should work without it. But if you're gonna connect SSDs or external hard drives to the USB ports on the front, there is a 30 watt power brick included in the box with a Type-C to Type-C cable, and there is a power delivery port on the back of this dock. So once you connect that, all the three USB ports will give you full speeds which is nice. Above that power delivery port are gonna be two display ports. These are gonna be DP 1.3, so it supports one 4K display up to 144 hertz and two 4K displays up to 60 hertz. So total, you should be able to connect three displays, including the Mac Mini's HDMI. And do keep in mind, when you connect external displays to this dock, uh, you're gonna have reduced SSD speeds. Since this is a USB 4 enclosure, it's not Thunderbolt, they have a shared bandwidth. And personally, I did not face any issues with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth interference. There was no latency. Uh, I was able to get the full speed of my Wi-Fi connection. Wi-Fi was very solid. I've been using this for a few months now with my M4 Pro Mac Mini. Now talking about pricing and availability and just my final thoughts on this dock, it started at $99 which was their early bird pricing on Kickstarter. Then they increased it to $129. Now it's retailing for $149. Uh, I'll leave links down below to their Kickstarter as well as their official page. If you're interested in buying, do check them out. Now, if you get this dock for $149 with two terabyte SSD, which should cost you around $120, your total comes up to around $250, $260, right? And let's say you want to buy two terabytes from Apple. I got the M4 Pro Mac Mini with 512 gigabytes of storage and 24 gigabytes of RAM for $1,400. If I were to upgrade that to two terabytes of storage from Apple, I'd have to pay $2,000. And this gets you not only extra storage, but also SD card reader, micro SD card reader, three USB ports on the front, solves the power button problem, gives you two extra display ports, and also gives you this really cool really well-built metal enclosure for under $300. So if you have a Mac Mini M4 or M4 Pro and you're looking for a one-stop solution, after you buy this, you don't need any extra dogs or hubs or dongles. This basically does everything for you. So in my opinion, I'm really impressed at this price, what AKS is able to offer. And yeah, a huge thanks to them for sending this out for review. They did not pay me, it's an honest review. I personally tested it for around two months and these are my thoughts. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys in the next one.